Jackson Radio Show. Welcome back, everybody. Kevin Jackson. It's the Kevin Jackson Show. KJRadio.com. It, you know, so I was talking to some members of my writing team, and I was like, you know, they're like, man, Kev's kind of a slow news day. And I'm like, that's nonsense. I, I agree there are days that are, you know, there's more news than other days. But we got seven and a half billion people in the world. There's a lot of news going on. And you just have to find it. And sometimes you find it in the strangest places. And it isn't just this in your face like the FBI is now opening an investigation into the Clinton Foundation. You know, OK, that's news. Woo! I hope I break that first. Right. But th- that's OK. I get it. That doesn't happen every day. But what's interesting about what I do for a living and what my team does when we're discerning information is when you can take something and go, boy, that's a great metaphor for such and such. And we have such a story. This, uh, I titled a piece that we wrote about this, what Democrats and dying dogs have in common. Because this story reminded me of Democrats guarding the, t- the carcasses of their most wretched people. Obama's carcass, Hillary Clinton's carcass, and other carcasses to be named later. And you're going, Kevin, what are you talking about, man? You're, you're talking of all these carcasses. It's rather morbid, your radio show. He, he don't know what he's talking about. He just over there talking, talking a bunch of stuff. He don't know nothing about me. So what, I made $60 million while I was president. <laughs> anyway. The Democrats are going down and they go down with the ship, period. That's what this is about. Look, I'm not telling you as conservatives, we should go down with the ship. You know, like, you know, no matter what somebody does, we got to stick with them. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm telling you is we have flawed people on our side. And what happens with us, if somebody goes, oh, like, I guarantee you, there were people when they were talking about this. Oh, Kevin Jackson said the FBI can assassinate Donald Trump, which I didn't say that. Uh, but there were people who went, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't do nothing with Kevin. I can't fool with him. That's what we say in the black, in the vernacular. I can't fool with him. But they couldn't fool with me because they, uh, you know, I got tainted with the scarlet letter. And I'm like, yeah, I don't care. Here's my attitude. Go. Because a lot of y'all still fool with me. <laughs> Just don't diddle with me. But you can fool with me. <laughs> so. But that, that's what the left tries to do. And, and what's funny about the right is we're quick to go. Oh, that Kevin Jackson's a conspiracy theorist. He's like Alex Jones. I don't want to be tainted by the Alex Jones. <laughs> Boom, you're gone. For you that are still here, we can chuckle about it. But trust me, there were people that were gone. One of my radio show, uh, place where I do a, radio, a weekly hit on the show, he called me before the show and says, hey, Kevin, is it okay if we talk about this? I'm like, yeah. He's worried, you know, like people might leave you. And I said, no, I'm happy to discuss it. Again, he's concerned because you know what? On the right, we leave quickly. <gasps> oh my gosh, that Kevin Jackson, uh, he's tainted. I ain't tainted. But anyway, this, this story reminds me. So if there was ever a time for Democrats to abandon the party, hey, Democrats, is this on? That time is now. But as this story suggests, Democrats would rather die than leave the dead carcasses of criminal Democrats. Now, you're still going, Kevin, what are you talking about? A dog was rescued by Animal Protective Services in Hungary after being found lying alongside the body of his dead owner, a woman, who had died weeks before. The nine-year-old Havanese was named Zsa and was severely dehydrated when she was found in the Budapest apartment. But now the dog's recovering. Now, the dog had a little bit of dry feet, food rather, to eat, but doctors said she would have died within a day or so if she hadn't been found. And, as I said earlier, the owner had died weeks before. I don't know who lived next to this woman. I don't know what the smell is in Budapest, but holy cow, you, the smell of death is universal and it's nasty. They said, uh, I mean, I'm just trying to picture this scenario of this dog. I mean, look, I get it. The dog loved its owner and it's like, uh, but what a metaphor for Democrats. And 
Here's the other thing about this. The lady who died, she probably told her friends, oh, I feel good, I feel good. I don't know how you speak Hungarian, but she's like, yeah, I feel very good. No, everything is fine. Da, 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 da. And then she goes home, she dies. Metaphor for Democrats, just like the Democrats. Think of the fake news optimism that the Democrats profess. Like left this Fox News uh, anchor Chris Wallace. I know y'all think oh, Chris is Chris is. A, what are you talking about? Chris Wallace is left. Kevin, he's on Fox. Chris Wallace is a lefty. Yeah. So I I remember I wrote a piece about this because Chris Wallace said the Republicans are going to lose 40 seats. And I said the left brag about the thing that they fear. He said he was on Shepard Smith reporting. And he said this fake news narrative of doom and gloom for the 2018 elections. And I'm telling you guys right now, just like I predicted Donald Trump would win. You don't need to worry about 2018. If you want to worry about something, you know, I don't worry about is your car going to break down in a month or you need new tires or whatever. I don't know. But you don't need to worry about the 2018 elections except to participate. That's all you got to worry about. But here's what Chris Wallace says. You see a very energized Democratic base, especially among young suburban women, young people and minorities. What? We talked about this uh, the other day and I, I read that quote and said, what is Chris Wallace talking about? An energized base among suburban women, young people and minorities. Tell me anything that has energized this base. Anything Outside of Donald Trump. Wishful thinking. Fox News reports this nonsense and they say that the Democrats think they're going to be able to take back the House. It's in jeopardy. This, you know, they may get both. Okay. Unless the cheating mechanism works better than it has before, there's no way that's going to happen. And then. The observer, this other leftist, he said the same thing. He said, six months ago, Democrats were cautious in their optimism. They talked a lot about a strong 2018 that might chip away at the GOP's majority in Congress. But after winning a pair of governor's races, more than a dozen state legislative contests, and a shock Senate seat in a deep red state over the last month, they're no longer holding back. Republicans are going to need to appreciate this wasn't all about Roy Moore and sexual assault, said J.B. Porsche, president of the Democrat aligned Senate majority pack. This is a bigger issue. And I already I don't know if we did a, a talk a story on on the show about this sexual harassment nonsense that just went kaput. The Democrats were betting on. The sexual harassment thing. They were positioning Kirsten Hillebrand to be the Pied Piper of women, the new women's movement and all that. Where is it at? All the people that were accusing Donald Trump. I mean, the Democrats got the dying dog blues. And it's not Hillary Clinton that's the only one that's in trouble. It's the entirety of the Democrat leadership team. Debbie Wasserman Schultz is going to be in the hot seat over the Awan brothers and this whole IT scandal, that's not going away. Susan Rice is going to find herself in big trouble over the FISA court authorizations. James Comey, and I said this and I predicted this before and I'll say it again. Uh, Barack Obama is going to be the biggest casualty of 2018. Let's just call him the dark horse. <laughs> you think about this. Not long ago, liberals were laughing over Donald Trump's claim that uh, Obama had wiretapped him throughout the election. And we finally get confirmation that this is really true. Obama did wiretap Trump with these FISA court things. And if you think that's gone away, you're wrong. Donald Trump will bring it up at the right time, just like he's done most. He's figured out how to time these cycles to where it makes sense. 2018 is a bad year for the left. But I want to go back to this dying dog. He said police opened up the flat after neighbors reported that they hadn't seen this elderly woman for some time. She was 66 years old or something. That's not elderly. That's young in today's time. Maybe not in Hungary. The dog was lying next to the dead body. Was so weak it couldn't stand. We had to drag her away. He said... 
Um, many dogs would have died after such a trauma. But yesterday she said she was on her feet, wagging her tail. And I come back to this Democrat, you know, conundrum, this uh, an analogy or metaphor. It's, an, it's a metaphor. I, I got it right eventually. The Democrats are sitting next to that dead body, just not wanting to leave. And then Donald Trump comes in, drags them away, says, look, you're going to die here if you stay. He drug a lot of rhinos. Rhinos fit the same bill if you want to use the same metaphor. And then he fed it and the dog is up wagging its tail. Now, here's what I'll tell you what I know about dogs and animals and human nature and all the other things that fit here. Dogs, the the dog is gone from that owner. It's ready for the next owner. Donald Trump. Kevin Jackson on the Black Sphere Radio Network. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS or state? The secret to avoiding the IRS nightmare is to seek professional representation. My friends at Security Tax Associates provide the most cost-effective and ethical representation in the industry while helping to avoid seizures, levies, and wage garnishments. Security Tax Associates is here to ensure that the appropriate steps are taken to permanently eliminate any possibility of future tax burdens once and for all. For a free, no-obligation consultation, contact Security Tax Associates, 844-779-4177. That's 844-779-4177. 844-779-4177. Or visit them at securitytaxassociates.com.